So I have a friend of mine who lives down in New Jersey who's restoring a World War II Studebaker Weasel. It's a military track vehicle. And every time I come down to my shop and turn the heat up, I think of Patrick working in that cold barn on that weasel. Now Patrick has his own YouTube channel and I'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out. The stuff that he's doing is really pretty amazing, uh, bringing this old World War II vehicle back, back to life again. It's just, just amazing stuff. But every time I turn that heat up, I think to myself, Patrick, this is the way it's supposed to work. You just go down to your shop, you turn a little thermostat, and the heat comes up, and then you get to warm and work in warm comfort. I watch him, and he's wearing all these heavy covers just, just trying to stay warm, and he tells me the heat in the shop is barely adequate. Well, I can imagine this time of year. Anyway, go check Patrick out. I think he'll enjoy the stuff he's working on. Hey, welcome back to Wood Chips and Black Steel. I've got a new project in the shop. It's a Winchester Model 94 manufactured in 1940. And the customer has asked that we re-blue the metal. And he didn't want to redo the stock. Uh, the stock is something that I may approach him and see if he wants to go a little bit further with it. And the reason I'm saying this is that the, the metal is probably 70, 75% condition, or, or the, the bluing is 70, 75% condition. And we tried to discourage him from doing this uh, because it is in such good shape for, for that year. But he insisted, it's something he really wants to do. He, he wants the, 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 the metal uh, repolished and, and blued. But we're gonna do it for him. Uh, what I'm going to do in today's episode is I'm just going to dismantle this gun and I'll take you along through the dismantling process. This is going to take a couple months to get, get through the entire polish and blue on this and I'll take you through some of that. I'll give you the highlights of it. I'm not going to show you all the details, uh, so we'll just highlight different processes of it and I'll bring you back in, in future videos and sort of show you that. Now, if you're part of my Patreon page, uh, at the $5 level, I am going to produce some more detailed videos of, of the polishing. We'll talk through some of, the, some of the methods, methodologies, and I'll show you some of that, that more detailed work as we do it. But for the standard YouTube channel, uh, we're going to just do the highlights. I have several other projects in the shop that I'm working on at the same time, and, I'll, and I want to show you some of those in future videos as well. So let's get started. Let's take this Winchester apart.
All right, short video today. I uh, just wanted to get this Winchester taken apart so I could prep it for polish and blue. And I'll post a few short videos working through the process. Now, if you're part of the Patreon page, I'm gonna go into a little more detail for those patrons at the $5 level, sort of explaining, you know, some of the things I look for when I, when I draw a file, uh, sort of the things I look for when I polish, and, and more details of how I step through the polishing process. And we'll do the same when we get ready to glue the thing. So if you're a member of my Patreon page, look for some patron-only uh, videos as we detail this. Uh, if you're not, I encourage you to, to come on over and sign up for Patreon. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. Yeah, I know. We all say this. And I'll see you in the next one.